Web applications. Modern web applications are complex and bloated as hell. I hate them. They're just layers and layers of JavaScript stacked on top of more JavaScript. Well, today I'm going to discuss some simpler web applications, some minimal web applications. Web applications that are not bloat. Now we're going to be using curl today, the curl command line tool. Let's get started. So before we get started, we should discuss very briefly what exactly is curl. I know some of you guys may be new to Linux or you're kind of new to the command line. You're not exactly sure what I'm talking about when I talk about the command line tool called curl. So curl has been around for over 20 years. It is a command line utility. It basically is for transmitting data, transferring data over various internet protocols. What internet protocols? Well, pretty much all of them, all the standard protocols. So we're talking about HTTP, HTTPS, your standard web protocols, even Gopher, uh, FTP, SFTP, SMTP, etc., etc. So what are we doing with curl? How exactly are we going to create these minimal web apps with curl? Well, let me pull up a terminal. So one of the most popular curl... <laughs> web apps if you will I'm using that term loosely but is this command right here this has been talked about on a number of Linux YouTube channels it's been talked about in many times in Linux articles and tutorials is this command here curl and then give it a web address and I'm going to give it this web address w t t r dot i n so curl space w t t r dot i n for weather is actually what we're about to do and just hit enter and look what it returns in the terminal it gives me my forecast it gives me a three-day forecast right here in the terminal including morning noon evening and night now if i wanted the weather report for a different location other than my current location by the way it uses geolocation it knew exactly where i was it actually gave me my local weather without entering anything else but if i wanted to i could specify a certain city so i could curl wttr.in and then berlin if i wanted the weather in berlin and there we go currently it's 66 degrees in berlin today now that particular curl trick there curl WTTR.IN is very popular. Many of you guys probably already knew of that particular command, but there are hundreds of these kinds of things you can do with curl. You can get all kinds of information using curl, not just weather. For example, let me clear the screen, and this time I want to get my public IP address. How do I get my IP address? Well, there are dozens of websites on the internet that if you go to, you just enter their home page in your browser, they return your IP address. Well, I don't necessarily have to open a browser to do that. I could just go to these with curl. Curl, and then there's, again, dozens of these sites. For today, I'm just going to use ifconfig.co because I know that particular website. ifconfig.co. If I hit enter right now, it will return my IP address. I'm not going to do that today on camera. I don't have a problem showing you my public IP address, but some of you guys have a problem with it. Every time I do this, you know, I pull up something that shares my IP address or I enter a terminal command that shares my IP address, my public IP address, I get emails, I get Mastodon notifications, I get Patreon notifications of you guys concerned, hey, do you know you showed your public IP address on camera on that last video? You really shouldn't do that. I don't want to have to respond to all those messages today, so I'm not going to run this command. I'm not going to share my IP address, but if you just run that command, ifconfig.co, curl ifconfig.co, with no other information, it will return your IP address. Now, if you want to get some geolocation information, what could you do? Well, you could curl space ifconfig.co slash and then country. Hit enter, and it will return the country that you're in. If you wanted to, you could even get more specific with city. So curl ifconfig.co slash city. I don't mind sharing the city that I'm in because I've already shared it when I ran the weather command. <laughs> you guys know where exactly where I'm at anyway. Now what if I wanted to do something like create a shortened URL? There's a million URL shortener websites out there. One of the most popular ones, of course, is Tiny URL. You can just go to your browser and in seconds create a shortened URL for whatever web address you want to create. 
this shortened URL for. But again, why do you have to do that in the browser? You don't. You can use curl in the command line and do the same thing. So for example, I can run this command here. And by the way, I'm going to post all the commands I run today. I know the font may be a little small on the video and the font is a little small because some of the information that will be returned in the terminal if I enlarge the font, it won't display correctly. So I'm just using my standard size font today. I'm not zooming in, but don't worry. I'm going to post all the commands I run in the show description. So I'm going to run this command, this curl command, curl space dash s, and then a URL, a tiny URL that's going to create a shortened URL for google.com. I just hit enter and it gives me this returned, this web address here. Let me copy that. Now if I copy that and go back to Firefox, so let me go back to my browser here, and let me enter that shortened URL that it returned, it redirects to google.com. How cool is that? Another neat thing you can do is you can use curl to get news. So we showed you earlier how you can get your weather information using curl. Well, you can also get news right here in the command line using curl. So there's websites out there that will return the news here in the terminal. Uh, one of the more popular ones is a site called getnews.tech. So curl space getnews.tech. And with no other arguments, you just hit enter and you will get you know some headlines for some of the more popular news of the day. You see, I can scroll and anyway, now, if I wanted to give it more arguments, I could curl get news dot text slash and then a search term. How about Trump? <laughs> and now it's going to give me the latest articles that I guess involve Trump in some way. Or I could do get news dot text slash. Uh, how about NBA plus finals? they're going on this week and I get the latest information about the NBA Finals. Now what if I wanted to get some dictionary information? Well you can do that. You can curl dict.org. I know that that's a terrible name. <laughs> dict.org. D-I-C-T guys. D-I-C-T dot org uh, slash D colon and then the search term you're looking for I'm going to do a combination word here. How about operating system? Let's do a search in dict.org for operating system. If I hit enter, and you see it does return a definition. Operating system, noun, software that controls the execution of co computer programs and may provide various services, yada, yada, yada. So that's pretty neat. Now, there are command line dictionary programs. In fact, one of the most popular is a program called DICT, D-I-C-T. But what if you don't want to install that program or you don't have it installed and maybe you're working on a machine that maybe you can't install anything on. It's locked down in some way. Well, if you have access to the internet, curl. Similarly, we could get a cheat sheet. I did a YouTube video uh, a few weeks back on man pages, bro pages, cheat sheets. And cheat sheets, you can install it as a program, but you don't have to actually install the cheat sheet program on your machine. Again, if you have access to the internet, there is a website that hosts all the cheat sheets for Linux out there. So you can just curl space cheat dot sh. And there is the cheat sheet program right here using curl. It tells you exactly how to use this. So how you would use this is curl space cheat sheet slash and then whatever it is you're looking for they give an example here how about butterfs the butterfs file system if i hit enter this is the cheat sheet for butterfs that's pretty cool and i didn't have to install you know the cheat sheet program you know as long as i've got curl installed it's going to go to the cheat sheet website and just pull this information down for me now let me clear the screen and what if i want the latest cryptocurrency exchange rates how about curl space rate dot sx rate dot sx is the name of the website if i hit enter there you go these are the latest exchange rates for various cryptocurrencies now you want something a little more fun let's end this with a couple of fun programs these serve no real purpose at all <laughs> other than they're just kind of neat now there is a website out there you can go to called parrot dot live but don't go to it in your browser. Go to it in your terminal with curl space parrot dot live and you get a dancing parrot. 
Now, let me control C to kill the dancing parrot. By the way, this we're just getting off the topic of curl for a second. If you really like this parrot.live thing, the <laughs> dancing parrot. Oh, you guys that like cow say and pony say, there is actually a program called parrot say out there. So if I ran parrot say, so let's just run parrot say without piping anything into it and see, I get a parrot. It says, let's party. Of course, you can pipe fortune or whatever it is, your, your own text, you can echo something into it. So there is a program out there called Parrot Say if you want that, but it doesn't dance. You know, the curl <laughs> command, curl parrot.live, is just, this is too cool. I could watch that all day. And the final thing I want to leave you with today, I don't want to throw too much at you with all the, these curl commands, but let me clear the screen. Well, the dancing parrot was really fun. How about a dancing Rick Astley? How about a Rick Roll, a terminal Rick Roll? Well, you can run this command right here, and it will play the Rick Roll video as an ASCII video in your terminal. You can run that very lengthy command. What I would do, though, I would set up a bash alias. I would set up a bash alias for all these. You know, if I was going to use these on a regular basis, I've got the Rick Roll curl program here. <laughs> Uh, actually aliased. Well, let me get rid of that and I'm just going to type RR and I'm going to run it. Let me mute the desktop audio because it will give me a strike probably on YouTube if I run this with audio. So you guys won't get the audio but you'll get the video. But I'll give you guys the uh, the audio if you want it. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and hurt you never gonna uh, don't forget the rest of the words this show was made possible by ansom chris the other chris douglas dylan jack leor mitchell philip rob robert sam tony and willie the producers of the show my highest tiered patrons over on patreon without those guys you wouldn't know about the terminal rickroll you wouldn't know about it i mean those guys they help me create this awesome content also brought to you by all those other fine ladies and gentlemen all those names you see on the screen that help support the channel you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. Alright guys, peace.